A warm welcome to the latest newsletter from Trade the Easy Way. Hi traders, this is Mike Hamilton for Trade the Easy Way and for the free video today I just want to look at what's happening with the Dow and this is a couple of hours before the Dow is going to close today before the session end and what we're seeing is yeah, a nice continuation of yesterday's uh, higher close and we're just getting close to the 27300 mark which is a major barrier and so with all this support down here the 200 moving average coming up and all that resistance up there you know this is a, a decision point is this market going to continue to the upside are they going to close above 27300 and push higher or are we going to get a dip <clears throat> uh, and potentially roll over so that's that's the level I'm looking at that's the key level for me and uh, so at the moment I would if you want to trade this I would suggest you buy dips in the early part of the day and uh, see if they hold and close higher Otherwise, I would just steer clear because it is a bit of a, a mess. It's a bit higgledy pickledy. It's a box play. Um, you know, here's the box. Uh, we peeked out a couple of times uh, and quickly got back inside the box, and here we are. You know, this level of support is holding nice. So all the time, these dips are getting bought. Then keep buying. Um, because in terms of Elliott Wave, we've had one, two, three, four, five A, B, C waves. This could be an impulsive D wave if we can close up around that area I mentioned. Okay, I mean, stochastics are, are low, coming off at a low level, and the MACD is. Um, and just coming up to the midline and showing a degree of divergence on this last dip. But look, look at the direction of the 200 moving average, simple moving average. You know, this is it's nice and blue. Um, you know, it's turning up. We, we tested it and held. So you know, there's no reason to short this at the moment unless you get a signal into one of these areas up here around about anything from 270 to 500 in the meantime um, yeah just keep buying the dips because this is potentially a nice W pattern reversal that's the first time we've tested the 200 since here and here okay right moving on let's have a look at the euro uh, Euro, so we had uh, a wedge pattern here, we couldn't get through this 2 running away, the 2 running away was crucial here, yeah, it was bending up, these dips got bought, yeah, a nice W pattern here, which is similar to the Dow at the moment, um, and then we started selling at this level here, made some uh, lower highs, and then they just caved in. And that, so at the moment we are coming into support. What do I think is going to happen? I think we could come and test this and maybe get a little bit of a bounce. And then if we are going to, the most likely scenario is we might come and test it, you know, do that for a little bit, and then if we close underneath this, then I think we will drop, pull back, and then come down and test these lows here at 106 so to cut a long story short uh, we, you know, another test of 110 would be a nice place to get short and then see if we can come down to 106, 105 and then wind our way down to 108 uh, sorry let me start again uh, to test this uh, 109, 108, and then eventually work our way down to 106, 105. All right, so yeah, don't be 
Uh, don't let the market sort of think, make you think that this is going to be a reversal. A reversal to me uh, would be a close above 110.03. Yeah, an open and a close above there. All the time we just keep selling at the highs and just keep shorting the highs. And those are the levels I would suggest you might want to look at. Okay, so we'll just have a quick look at gold. Spent a lot, quite a while talking about this on Traders Round Table on Monday, and we talked about this finding this support here. This is a fib level, um, but all the time this 20 EMA is moving down. The this is a potentially a bear flag, a bullish consolidation. A bullish consolidation is normally over once you come in contact with that 20 EMA, that 20 simple moving average. So I'm looking for a push higher into uh, 12.75, 12.80 may come all the way up to that 200 uh, before we get the next leg down. Okay, moving on to the premium video.